Hey, what's up, YouTube? Redbird and Danny here, back with another New World video. Today, we're going to talk about how to use your Umbral Shards effectively in the new January update with the dungeon mutations. Uh, Danny, the first way, or the first thing we're going to talk about today is how to earn them eff effectively. And, and there are three ways to earn them. We do have a guide over there at New World Fans. Uh, to teach you each or way and then how what amount you will be earning with each activity uh obviously uh one of the ways you can earn them now is soaring up your um your gypsum casts uh, we're gonna have a video about that later this week uh, that'll kind of teach you how to prioritize those and how to use those effectively to push your expertise up to 600 once the patch comes out of course the main way uh that you can earn them which is the uh, dungeon mutations getting a bronze silver or gold at each of the different levels of the mutation will reward you with even more uh umbral shards and then finally uh once you craft a 600 gear score item or once you have your expertise up to 600 in that slot you will then start earning gypsum or umbral shards excuse me for every legendary you craft after that point so that's i, I think probably the least efficient way to earn them uh danny uh is that way but uh, yeah, so there's three different ways you can earn these Umbral Shards, uh, Danny. So why don't you tell us a little bit more about the effects of these Shards on your gear and kind of why we want to prioritize how you use them. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I'm sure, same as you guys out there, we've been doing some testing, trying to figure out um, what is the best way to do things. So what we found is as you upgrade your gear, you're going to have uh, an increase a minimal increase um on the stats on your gear so um what we found is at least until 6 15 6 20 things seem to be pretty minimal um and there's just kind of almost no change so what what it, what it is doing though is increasing your armor mitigation and your damage as your your main um your main effects really your perks do change as well um what we found is um, again, that is minimal. It's like 0.1%. So you won't see too much of a change, but it is affecting your perks. And by the time you get to 625, you should have uh, an extra attribute point on on each of your, your weapons and your armor as well. Yeah. One. Yeah, yeah <laughs> one. So, yeah. So they're really, again, we're kind of pinching pennies here. Uh, when you when you upgrade these, the order you upgrade these, and and how uh, and like Danny said, uh, the, there's minimal increase uh, basically throughout the entire process. What we did notice though is that at every five upgrades, which would be like your 600 to 605, 605 to 610, or 610, uh, 610 to 615, you do get a a relatively minimal but a, a noticeable uh, increase to your mitigation and damage. Uh, and uh, as we kind of go through uh, what items to upgrade first here, you'll kind of start to understand why. Uh, weapons obviously uh, seem to be the most effective thing to upgrade just because it is increasing your base damage. Uh, that does affect all your abilities and everything like that. When you see, uh, you know, uh, most of those have a, you know, X percentage of uh, weapon damage or whatever. So it, it is important, I think, to prioritize your weapons first. And then once you get your weapons uh, to a certain level, then you will want to get your armor. And then last, uh, and I think certainly also least, is jewelry. Jewelry is basically minimally affected uh, by the increases of gypsum. Uh, like Danny said, you're going to get one stat at, at 625, or once by the time you reach 625, you'll get an extra stat, uh, which really isn't that significant, Danny. I mean, you know... You talk about uh, how you increase your food with with stat. I mean, most people like kind of prioritize their attributes and weapons, and then kind of finish off their balance of stats uh, with stat food. And 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 dude, you, even if you do get an extra one or two attributes, I don't think it's going to help you get any bonuses. Very true. Yeah, very true. I guess the the one thing that we haven't really discussed from a curveball anyway um, is kind of scaling and how potentially maybe you know we've been doing our tests outside of the dungeons you know, potentially it will feel more effective once we actually get inside the mutations and maybe it will it will feel a lot more effective than what we you know we're getting in the open world with these kind of effects and bonuses but um i haven't I haven't um, got too much knowledge on that yet but I'm, I'm hoping once we get inside that we're going to feel more than 0.1 <laughs> increase to, to our uh you know our armor and our and our damage so once we get to that nine and ten levels we're doing we're doing a lot more damage and, and sustain a lot more armor um i got well, i got up to about 
level four and it was getting quite tough with the weapons and gear that we got on the PTR. So I'm looking forward to doing it on the live and seeing how that all, all effects and everything changes with your 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 trophies and your, your weapon coatings and all this stuff. So I'm, I'm quite excited to be honest. Right. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. And you, and you make a good point because obviously the PVP scaling was in into effect when me and you were testing this stuff, which we were testing on each other. And, yeah. and, uh, you know, also these are base, these are base increases are the ones we're talking about. So obviously as you, you know, have a full set of armor equipped or you have a, you know, you have all your weapon perks and your, your, uh, you know, attributes put in and all your, um, mastery points put in, uh, th these are going to accumulate pretty quickly, but I think it holds true, uh, that the first things that you do want to upgrade is your weapon. Now uh, we suggest because of how the cost uh to upgrade these things uh, increases at scale and it, and it scales up pretty significantly uh danny because you know you talk about needing uh one umbral shard to get from 600 to 601 but then you talk about the jump just from 619 to 620 it's 450 umbral shards and your last level is 2500 umbral shards so what we had kind of figured uh, or from what we had tested it does make sense to go ahead and get your weapons up uh, from 600 to 605, and that would be both your primary and your secondary weapons first. Then, Danny, you want to prioritize your chest piece next, right? Yep. So yeah, absolutely. I was gonna say the chest, the chest piece is is uh, you know, tends to be your your biggest stat across the board, whether that's you know your your heavy, medium, or light. So definitely, yeah, start off with your chest. Start with your chest. You move to your pants. <laughs> of course, because that provides the next amount uh, or the next significant increase here, especially when you're talking about heavy, medium, which is what you're going to probably use in these uh, these uh, expedition mutations because you're going to need quite a bit of mu uh, mitigation and health uh, to kind of stay up uh, during the, you know, the trash phases of these dungeons. Uh, so, yeah, you want to upgrade your chest and your uh, pants. And then you would just basically after that, make sure you prioritize your... Uh, heavy pieces of armor and then your medium pieces of armor and then your light when it comes to like your head gloves and feet whether you know a lot of i know a lot of people danny on medium builds right now are using a uh, heavy chest heavy legs and and of course you upgrade those first but then they're using a medium piece within one of those uh, head foot and gloves and then just make sure that you're upgrading the medium piece of armor uh before to 605 before you upgrade the other two light ones yep and yeah. And, and uh, finally, I, I think, dude, it, this is one of the biggest things we've kind of found is like, I think you want to go ahead and push the 610 on your on your uh, weapons and armor uh, before you even touch your jewelry. Because again, not a lot to be gained by upgrading your jewelry at this point. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we found, well, I personally haven't found that limit where you hit that extra stat point. I'm going to assume that it's probably at the 625 right. uh, gear score. So yeah, jewelry, what well, you're going to get an extra point one on your, on your perk on your jewelry. So um, for the majority of it, so yeah, focus on your weapons, focus on your armor, get those done as a priority and then worry about jewelry. Uh, jewelry yeah. is the last, yeah, last yeah. priority. Way basically. last. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> So, uh, guys, that's about it. Uh, you know, and to, in summary, I guess, you know, make sure that we're going by fives here. So 605, 610, 615, 620. Those are where we noticed the, you know, the actual increase to mitigation and damage to be the most significant. Uh, so you want to jump, do the jumps of five there and then prioritize again. First, your primary weapon, your secondary weapon, chest piece, legs, then whatever of your three pieces that are left, which is your head, gloves, and feet, just make sure if you have medium armor in that slot, uh, just go ahead and upgrade that before you upgrade the other light ones. If you're wearing all heavy, it still holds true. It doesn't matter what order you do it in, though. Uh, it'll be chest, uh, legs, and then, you know, head, foot, and gloves. And then and then last but not least, dude, the, the jewelry, guys. It's kind of a trap. Stay away from the jewelry. Uh, we know a 625 looks really cool when you get something uh, ranked up to that, but make sure you have the rest of your gear upgraded before you try to do that 625 jewelry run because it's going to be pretty brutal uh, if you don't have your, your weapon and armor up first. All right, Danny. Uh, well, it's been a good one, man. Uh, thanks. We, we think we did a lot of testing today for this, so uh, 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a subscribe. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscription button, the notification bell for more new world content like this. And then also, guys, leave a comment below. Uh, what what uh, you know? What is going to be the first thing you upgrade? And we'll see if you guys listen to us at all. Maybe you didn't even watch the video, and you're just gonna you you know you're gonna upgrade your jewelry first. Uh, uh, you know that would be sad. You know, Danny. But at least we can say we told you so, right? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video.